So it's not looking good for Kate and William right now. They're both facing some back-to-back -back unnecessary news. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. I would appreciate it. It is daily and consistent content every single day fresh 24 7 subscribe to the channel it's one click and let's get straight into this video send a super thanks if you guys wish to so it looks like prince william which is you know interesting has been completely snubbed guys by the times 100 climate list they have not categorized him in the top 100 in any capacity now of course this obviously is interesting because prince william was trying to be the most influential leader driving business to real climate change so why has his earth project been ignored number one number two you know for somebody who's continuously discussing climate change especially in singapore now he's going to do more than his father to not be categorized in the top 100 as a royal is interesting it's questionable especially because he was the number one sexiest bold man in 2023 two days ago so if he was the number one in the world surely you'd be on the times 100 list and clearly it goes to show you that the times 100 list is not taking payments or has links to aids that run around from the establishment towards these articles and press that is why i believe that prince william you know, definitely has the AIDS and stuff. We've seen the Byline Times article number one, but number two, the fact that he's number one on the list clearly shows that he knows people and is paying X, Y, Z. That's what I believe. Because if you actually look back at this list, because everybody has a memory like a fish these days due to social media, in 2021, Prince William was also named the sexiest bold man in 2021. Does that make any sense? Two years in a row. Um, 2021, 2023, sorry. You're, not, like, you're paying somebody or you know somebody if you put on that list. So for him to be completely snubbed completely from the Times 100 list is very questionable and interesting and a big blow to whatever he's trying to do. Not only that, but you know, Kate Middleton is not receiving some great press right now. The BBC um, Children in Need um, speech that she was doing, she was blasted for it, to be, for it being severely tone deaf and completely out of touch in the cameo that she was taking. People were really upset. What the hell is Kate doing? Opening Children in Need, so out of touch, not a good start. A billionaire opening the children in need, etc., etc. So people are really upset by her surprise appearance. They thought that she thought it was going to be great, but it has absolutely backfired, and a lot of people are upset by it. There is some hypocrisy in that, where anybody, not just Kate, who is extremely wealthy, you know, opening up children in need. It's like those celebrities who put out GoFundMe links asking the public to donate, but it's like your wealth is significantly higher than the public's. So why are you asking? us so it's that kind of conversation and for the fact that i guess her cameo did not come off well and people don't like it and of course the, you know they're watching the bbc and they were pretty disappointed by her presence so i guess that both of them you know you know experiencing this back to back clearly goes to show you that they both don't know how to maneuver the public well um because prince william always gets dogged out for these lists that he's on and then being snubbed from time 100 and i don't think kate can work the crowd well without the press machine praising everything but i don't look at the press and what they say i look at the people if you don't stand by the people and if the people don't stand by you sorry if the people don't stand by you it speaks volumes and that's who you want to stand by because that's where your integrity morals and values are as a human being you stand with the people f the press do you understand f the press machine that's always going to be biased and praise you in certain ways and be extremely biased in other ways it's always about that and i feel like kate doesn't have the people william does not have the people charles definitely did, did not have the people queen elizabeth had the people so i feel like it just sets a precedent for when they take over the throne how that is going to be um, i feel like it's going to be more popular than charles absolutely but it's still going to be significantly less than elizabeth let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this guys subscribe to the channel click that button for daily and consistent content i don't think we'll get a queen for a while now because it's charles william and then william's son george so i don't think we're going to get a queen for a while. Let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.